Hey there, are you here for your palm reading? Good. Take a seat. Anywhere is fine. Anywhere is fine. Uh, we're just going to get right into it. So today I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of what palm reading is. So we're going to take a look at your headline, your heart line, your fate line, and your lifeline. I have a uh, certificate from WikiHow, so pretty much uh, as expert as they come, as well as uh, I've taken the time to research and uh, watch some YouTube videos. So um, definitely know what I'm talking about. So take it seriously. Anyways, um, take a seat wherever. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Um, we are going to start um, by looking at your right, right, or left. Which hand is your dominant hand? I need to know. You're right-handed. Okay, pretty basic, but it's okay. So, um, would you mind giving me your right hand? Uh -huh. So, your right hand is going to represent your present and past life, while your left hand, left hand, <laughs> right hand, left hand is going to represent um, what your future looks like. Okay, so, um, don't be alarmed. Um, I, you still have the opportunity to change your destiny. It's possible. Uh, you just gotta work really hard at it, okay? But uh, take a seat. Take a seat for me. And uh, can you give me your right hand? Okay, good, good, good. Um, now your heart line. Since your heart line uh, starts at the index finger, it looks like your heart uh, starts. Your heart line starts at your index finger. Now that represents. Uh, 
shows that you can 
um, just show me your palm like this. Go to like that for me, um, so I can see it from afar. I need to take a look from here, so. Okay, so it looks like you have short and stocky hands, but don't be alarmed. Um, there means that there's strength to you, you know, you've been through a lot, but you are going to continue to be a fighter, so. Short, stocky hands means that. Now your thumb is a little bit uh, longer than your index finger, which is so rare. But that means you're a very creative and perceptive individual, right? So um, you are very aware and perceptive of those around you. Um, now the fact that your pinky finger, right? Your pinky finger kind of curves to the right, right? While your other ring finger curves to the left. Now that creates a lot, a little bit of a tension. Now that is where your fire and water comes in. So your fire the fire inside of you um, wants to fight one way and that's your pinky finger. Your pinky finger is the fighter. So your fire, um, you're uh, trying to, um, you know, move forward and really be successful in your life. But your um, water sign just tries to dimmer that down. Now that is your emotions, your your um, temperament. Um, that's what that water represents. So that represents... Um, that's what's holding you back now doesn't mean that your emotions are bad or invalid they're very much valid and they're healthy things but yours are just kind of out of control i mean you're crying like every other day which really is um trying to dimmer that fire inside of you now you're gonna have to try to find some balance between the fire and water right you can't have one you can't have too much of one and you can't have too much of the other right so um, that is going to be an emotional journey that you, only you, are going to be able to go on uh, in order to be successful, okay? Um, so that's exactly what that means. Um, now, the fact that you're, uh, you got a little line where things are around from the left or the right over there, the thumb, your thumb, that means that you have two different families, whether you know about them or not, is, uh,
You were all set, you were all set, you were all set. 